Hi guys, in this video I'm going to continue on from the previous one. Uh, we talked about different ways of aiming a light and the two best techniques to my mind are the point at and uh, using the shadow cam as a, as a way to, to aim. There is another way of uh, very precisely aiming a light in in space we we identified that point at is fantastic when you want the light to aim at something that may be moving or as a just a quick way to aim at uh, a point in the scene but when you want to point at a, a position in the scene that doesn't have an object to look at then point at lets you down and that's where using the shadow cam is is a a better alternative but there is a third way which is uh, common in other uh, applications and I believe is present in DAS as well uh, and that is creating uh, a light target now if you think of your light as as comprising I guess uh, a number of elements there's the the source of the light or the origin that's where it comes from there's the target that's where it's aiming at and then there's the uh, the cone radius, which is the the size of the light, and then of course there's color and intensity and stuff like that. So in most other programs, the light target is a separate entity that you can drag and pull around. And to the best of my knowledge, that um, Poser doesn't support that, but you can very easily create one yourself. So what I've done here, this is the uh, library and I've gone into primitives and um, it, you can create any object I can't remember if uh, they still have primitives in in um, poser 13 but I'm just going to create the lowest resolution object I can so I'm going to double click this ball to bring it into the scene now I can take that back off and there's the ball so uh, what I'm going to do is shrink that down so that I've got some precision here's the ball down here and I'm going to choose translate and pull. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this spotlight, which we've been working with earlier. It's called face light. And I'm just going to make it point at that sphere, which is called ball one. So now I can move the ball anywhere I want. Okay, I can if I'm using the ball. Right select the ball and now that becomes a light target now obviously if i am having the oh it's made a go cross-eyed if if i am rendering the scene and my target is just in front of a face for example all i need to do is make this vis uh, invisible and it still serves as a target even though you can no longer see it in your renderings. So it's just a quick and dirty way of, of creating a target light in Poser. Uh, hopefully that was useful. Speak to you later.